few years back, you were a contestant on a show called Rhythm and Flow. Yeah. <laughs> Win or lose, you had to have taken some experience, some new experiences with that. What would you say you learned from that experience the most? Uh, reality TV is not real. <laughs> don't believe what you see, man. I can't stress this enough, man. Like they they really play me, and like <laughs> people believe that shit was like, like you gotta be dumb, but you know. I came out and told, you know, my truth, my side of that, of that shit, and it was able to leverage me into another opportunity to go on Real 92 and talk about it and freestyle and all that stuff, so, um, but I learned, you know, you gotta put yourself out there and, like, anything can happen, like, I didn't even uh, think that I would ever be in a position to be on, a, like, an American Idol for, like, rappers, in a sense, you know? Right. Like, That's shit. essentially what it was. And, you know, I wish, uh... I ain't gonna say I wish, cause you know everything happened for a reason. I just know if I would have been on two more episodes of that show, I'd be out of here. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it really put people on, like, I mean, but even then, like, shit, you, it's still what you do with the platform, you know. Yeah. So it's like you could get the platform, but you know you still got to keep people engaged, and you got to still provide that type of, uh, you know, that type of content that people like, you know, want to tune in and stuff like that. Um, but I learned, I learned, uh, I learned a lot though. I learned that I. Probably never do that shit again. No, I'm playing, but uh, no, I probably wouldn't. But um, I learned, uh, yeah, just yeah, you know, how to how to just I don't know how to just like I would how I would do it differently the next time. Like I would definitely have more of like a team involved. Like again, I was just doing that shit solo, just. You know, off of the strength of my connections that I made, like, but I was really going about it just myself. Like, I ain't had no manager, like, kind of guiding me, you know, men like, I have a mentor, but it wasn't, like, somebody that was, like, guiding me through, you know, the whole process. And, and I seen certain artists up there, they had, like, some management involved or whatever the case may be. Um, so I'll probably just, like, have a couple more trusted sources, like, involved to, like, help me really move it the, the right way and not get played in the way they tried to, you feel me? But... You know, it is what it is. Like, I still made that shit, and it still got me on, on radio. Um, and you know, a lot of, a lot of artists can't even say that. You feel me? It's like, and I don't even rap no more. So y'all can have that shit. <laughs> what they say, no press is bad press. You feel me? Um, a lot of people would have been a little discouraged to go on the show out of fear of public rejection. What was your main motivation to go on the show? To win. I was like, shit, I'm about yeah. to win this shit. Like, I mean, I seen, I peeped the comp, and I'm like, shit. Everybody dope, all that, but I just knew, I know myself, like, what I brought to the table and how, you know, how I was just feeling about myself at that time. Uh, I was, I was like, man, I can win this shit. You yeah. feel me? Uh, shit, I should have won that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know, like, I never was really, I'm like, it seemed like opportunity to, like, you know, gain exposure and all that. So, it's like, I'm all for it, you know? Yeah. Like, again, like, things would have kind of went differently if I would have lasted longer it, things probably would have looked a little different for me as an artist like who, I probably would have had a sustainable career as an artist you know just off of gaining fans and followers alone because like I, I would have ran with that shit you know what I mean but uh, you know shit, everything happened how it's supposed to go yeah rejection is protection man yeah. it went how I went for a reason uh, what's your perspective on the importance of visual content um, super important <clears throat> super you know, I mean, you just can't just be putting out any old thing, but, you know, I feel like, I'm, <clears throat> I guess I am, I've become more introverted in years just because, like, I didn't gave so much of myself to people and, like, put myself out there in such ways that, like, where it's kind of, like, bitten me back, and so it's, like, made me a little more reserved, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. and to the point where, like, I don't really be showing my process or, like, my behind-the-scenes stuff like that. But, like, that's what people want to see, though. Yeah. Especially, and, you know, you got to think about the people that actually fuck with you, you know what I mean? Like, the real people that fuck with you, not just this Instagram shit. Like, how's this going to look on Instagram? How many likes am I going to get? It's like, whatever the case. It's like, you got to show the people that you work because people want to feel like they're growing on your journey with you, whether whatever you're doing, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I think it's important to just kind of be vulnerable in that sense and just kind of show, you know, the growth. You feel me? Like, uh, people want to, again, people want to grow with you and feel like they are on that journey with you, you know? And I feel like that's how you keep fans and grow your, grow the support and like the community of, the, of your support and mm -hmm. followers and stuff like that. So I think it's super important. You know, every everybody should 
you know, every creative content creator person should be putting out content visually. Yeah. Do you uh, plan on stepping it up and putting out even more? I do plan on stepping it up, man. I got to step it up. You can't step it up until you step it up, man. Yeah, but, yeah sure. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, shit, I got a camera, so, you know, yeah. already. So, and, you know, I, I did some little stuff, but I definitely want to, like, just start flooding the streets, you know? Yeah, for sure, for sure. You already know, like, when you have a full day plan or something, you'd be like, let me grab that camera. Yeah. For sure. Um, what are some of your interests outside of the music right now? Uh, I have an NBA basketball fan, man. Play 2K here and there. You know, I busted your ass so many times. Like, let's not lie to the people. <laughs> 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 no, you is you is you OD with the game. Like, oh, you like a robot. But <clears throat> I don't beat you a couple times. But I, shit, basketball. Um, playing basketball. Well, I guess watching it and playing it. Uh, Outside of music, shit, like, I'm boring. No, man, I like I like going on hikes, you know, here and there. I like I like uh, you know spending time with friends and family and just you know having a good conversation. Like going out to eat a little bit, you know, just mixing it up, you know, like going to the museum, like looking at art, you know, doing stuff like that, you know, going to the beach, stuff like that, just getting outdoors and like just. Um, you know, just just soaking in that nature and just you know, just just living life, man, for real. Just regular I work with kids and stuff. Oh, actually no, I ain't gonna say all that. Uh but <clears throat> yeah, watching a good movie. I like I love going to the movies and seeing some new shit that I wanna see. Like, period. Um I love love reading. No, <laughs> <laughs> You know, but I will, I'll, re, I'll read something here and there, you feel me? Like, I read articles all the time, sports articles all the time, but I, I got books and stuff that I've tapped into. You know, it's definitely something I want to do more. I feel like it'll just elevate my mind better and just, like, you know, just, you know, just keep it, keep staying informed, you know? Yeah, I like staying sure. informed, though, you keep know? Keep your mind sharp as always. Keep your mind sharp. Just staying informed, just knowing what's going on out there, you know what I mean? Just in the world and stuff. You don't want to be, like, just going through the motions. So I try to be just very present and, like, you know everything like even in this interview like i'm trying to be very present and intentional with what i'm saying and stuff like that i hear you um last one man what's next for josh gray um <clears throat> excuse me i got got some music on the way man uh so we just we was just on power 106 man shout out to Coop corleone that was that was a super dope experience uh just to hear my production on LA radio for the first time so now you know hopefully hopefully more spins on the radio more more records more Josh Gray records that I produce for others you know more projects for the artists that I do work with and hopefully one of these plaques one day man shit you know like that'd be that'd be amazing that I hope that's next you know a gold or a platinum plaque you know where it really just certify you you know what I mean I feel like man that'd be that'd be dope if I could get that you know at any point in my career so hopefully that's next in the cars but yeah just continuing to just keep my head down and working bro it's like you know anything can happen so it's like i try not to put too many expectations on anything i just try to just let the work first speak for itself and just, just stay working stay can stay consistent like that's my plan is to just try to be as consistent as possible and it's, it's gonna it's gonna trickle down it's gonna roll over it's gonna happen you know yeah most definitely yeah yeah well, thanks for fucking with us, man. It's another episode of Project and Politics. We'll see y'all next time. Yeah, yeah, man. Thank you for having me, man. Off top.